All right, guys, we're in for a special treat here today, a special edition here of In Conversation. We have not one, not two, not three, but four guests. We have none other than a full band here. Wicked. <laughs> What's happening? What's going on, man? Welcome. Thanks for having us. Yeah, great to have you guys here. Talk a little music here. Uh, so um, you guys are just down the road. I'm in Buffalo, and obviously you guys are just down a city over there in Rochester, New York. We couldn't, we couldn't tell by the hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a lot of Bills fans all over the country, but you never know, right? right? <laughs> Bills. <laughs> so, yeah, so why don't you give everybody a quick rundown, introduce yourselves, and uh, tell us how you guys ended up being in Rochester, <laughs> of all places. <laughs> What's happening? I'm Danny Dahl. I'm uh, the bass player. Chad Michael, lead singer, rhythm guitarist. Scotty V, lead guitar. Gunner and I play the drums. Yeah, and we, uh, you know, Wicked, uh, Wicked's kind of a, a pretty cool thing. We the, the, the best thing about this band that I always like to tell people is that we're like an old school band, you know, something of war, of days past that you don't hear about anymore. Um, we, the four of us live together and we've been living together for seven years. Um, so the band started with my brother, Chad and I, um, you know, we were in upstate New York. Um, and before we kind of like finished some schooling in, in Rochester, you know, we were trying to get this band going and we, we were lucky enough to find Scotty, uh, out of Geneva. Um, he, we, what'd you, what'd we find you on Scotty? What was that site called? It was called? like uh, it was like the rock and roll of MySpace was called uh, Glam Nation. <laughs> and so like Scotty <laughs> just had like the best like look for a lead guitarist, and we're like, we're like I, he looks good. The you know how he sounds comes second, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but pick him up. He stayed with us one weekend, played a show, and then that was it. We've been we've been living together forever, and uh, and then Gunner was. These a, guys hated me when I. <laughs> These guys absolutely hated he me. He still sucks, but I love him. <laughs> He was, he was a missing puzzle piece, but um, he, he kind of came in a little bit later on and we've been doing this thing, the four of us for about seven, uh, eight years now. Um, and, you know, Rochester's, you know, the place that we call home, uh, you know, we, we created this like little compound uh, where we live and, um, you know, made it everything that we need for us to function as a group of friends and uh, family and a band. Um, all the way, including uh, a recording studio in our house. Yep. And right, well, speaking of recordings, yeah, you got this uh, brand new album ready to drop on uh, March 1st here called Sunburn. Uh, give us a quick rundown on how you guys uh, recorded the album and tell us a little bit about some of your favorite songs from the album. Absolutely. Yeah, Sunburn was a, it was a really fun album to create. Um, definitely a, a turning point in our music careers, like individually as, as musicians kind of um, coming to our own and, and really maturing. Um, and you could see that, you could hear it in the album, you know, everybody kind of stands out in a different way. Um, some of like the, the tunes that really stick out to us, obviously like, you know, a lot of the, the singles that we released, Sunburn, Gorgeous, Lost and Dark being um, a lot different than what we released with the last American rock band, more power pop driven. Um, but one that really sticks out to all of us, and I know we were just talking about in another interview, was um, a song called Outlaw, um, like a very Thin Lizzy style song. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, we, so what, what happened was, is, you know, we finished COVID hit, um, and, you know, we try, we try to be like glass half full, like, you know, roll with the punches kind of group of guys. So we said, all right, well, we're not going to be out there playing shows, you know, for the foreseeable future. So we, we tracked last American rock band. Then we were like, let's just, we had our producer, Nacho Molino here staying with us. Um, and, uh, we were like, let's track another album. Um, so we started writing, um, Sunburn here in the house in the studio that we made with Nacho. Um, and, I think what made this album different from anything we've done in the past, as far as recording is just just that being here in our home and with like our like Nacho became our best friend here he stayed with us so our producer was also like really close friends with us we'd have drinks at night and during the day we'd work hard and we'd write together and it was just so comfortable and it just you can hear it in the flow. album yeah, yeah it was so natural my favorite part was we did the uh the drums up here in the, the living room with the big uh, cathedral ceilings it's like 30 feet 
And our neighbors loved us. <laughs> yeah, I bet. They told me couldn't mow the lawn for a little while. <laughs> All right, so that comes out on uh, Friday. And then the next day, you got the uh, big show at Water Street Music Hall there. Tell us about uh, the show itself. Oh, we're super excited. Uh, I mean, what a what a great place um, in the area to play like Pretty your legendary. album release show, you know. Yeah, from like the history um all the bands that have played there over the years i mean you know talk about the ramones marilyn manson you name it um but you know we're on the big stage you know the main stage um the room is you know perfect for this high energy rock and roll show that we're bringing and we got a lot of cool friends that are that are coming on board you know opening up the show for us we got blue envy um a bunch of great rockers in the area Continental drift yeah um, Continental drift uh televisionaries some of our really good friends yeah those guys um, are cool they're like a punk rock beach boys um which which is is pretty it, it, it's gonna be a cool night because you know we we like really good um music of course but like artists that like really believe in the original music that they write and that's what we got is is a whole um you know group of bands that is like that um you know, no cover bands, no tribute bands, you know, these are people that are living, breathing and bleeding, like, you know, their craft. Um, and we're, we're, we're stoked. We've got this huge stage show, right? Oh, like, dude, it's crazy. We got, we got a lot of props. We got a lot of, um, obviously all the new songs you're going to hear the whole album, um, front to through, back, yeah. through and through, um, maybe even like a, a fun cover of something and some guest appearances of our, our friends from the, you know, locally, um it's just going to be a really good time it's going to be time for everybody to come together kind of let loose grab a drink have fun yeah if you uh and if you get vip tickets we're going to do an acoustic show before the show that's right backstage backstage vip acoustic show those are limited tickets so if you haven't snatched those yet make sure you grab them before it's too late um but we're super stoked um it's going to be a great way to kick off our um north american tour with raven that's coming up at the end of march um to support the album sunburn and uh yeah like i said it's it's coming up soon and oh don't forget we'll give you a little a little easter egg here too um we haven't announced this yet but we're going to surprise people on friday with uh a music video as well very special ah. support the release uh yeah. and it's going to be a music video for summer and sun so check that out that one means a lot to us it's very personal um close to the heart uh we wrote it about our uh late grandmother in polish we call uh her bocce um so it's it's pretty cool it's like acoustic like kind of rocked up acoustic um and uh it comes from a place right like i said right at the heart so so i I'm, and for when it comes to rochester obviously there's a lot of um a lot of music connections there obviously lou grant lou graham lives there he's from there from foreigner um Tell us about some of the connections you have with some of the famous Rochester artists. We, uh, we, we like, we, I think, what was it like? Somebody who used to date Lou Graham, <laughs> like worked at a diner or something. No, I, but, <laughs> Tommy Burnett's really cool. Um, he's, he's a cool advocate for music in the area. Um, you know, great guy. There's, there's so many great musicians out of um, Rochester in different, like, genres and i think that's one of the big like themes that rick biato no, i'm not sure if you're familiar with yeah. him very famous producer um he's from our hometown in fairport, fairport yeah. so it's just like it's really cool to see those connections in music and you know kind of come from that same area but even outside of like the mega big names like that i mean there's there's a lot of people that you know have done you know music out of rochester in different genres and i think that's a big theme of you know what we're trying to promote as we come out with sunburn is you know, you're going to see an evolution in our music um, and that's going to make some people uncomfortable um, because a lot of people kind of like hide in their like safe walls of their genre that they like and like the the music that there is in their box, right? Makes them comfortable um, and that's fine. But as musicians, we like to pull like influences, um, you know, it, it could be something like Toto or the Tubes or like, you know, of course, we always love our 70s, Hard Rock, Sporps, UFO, Thin Lizzy. Um, but maybe we're listening to a little bit of power pop or, uh, or maybe it's pop, you know what I mean? Um, and all that kind of goes into a blender. Um, but that's kind of a theme for Rochester too, in terms of the music scene, you, you have everything from, you know, 
you know, stoner rock to like hardcore music to country, like punk there's scene, punk scene. Like there's a lot of, you know, really cool eclectic um, approaches to music. And, and that's what we love about the area. All right. And uh, as far as uh, the Raven show, you guys are actually going to be hitting Rochester again during that tour. It looks like at the bug jar. That's I was right. kind of surprised they're playing a smaller place like that, especially with you guys on the bill, only because last time Raven came, they played uh, Photo City, which has a bigger capacity. Yeah. So I hope you guys, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are going to sell it out pretty good, I'm sure. But... I, I, I think the, the to your point, the thing that, you know, we'll, we'll let a little secret sneak here is we were talking with John Gallagher from Raven and, uh, you know, kind of powwowing on like, you know, where should we play in Rochester? You know, you guys are getting off this big show at Water Street, you know, kicking it all off. And we we're like, John and us were like, let's play Bug Jar. Let's tr see if we can like rock that place so fucking hard that the walls <laughs> fall down. Yeah, and body. it's just this big crater in the in, in the corner of, you know, Marshall Street there. Nuts, so, <laughs> nuts to butts, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any uh, any last minute things you want to add here? Tell us about like your website, stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So everybody go follow us on social media, everything on the socials, Wicked Rock and Roll and our website, Wicked Rock and Roll Official dot com. You can find all the dates, get your tickets for the tour coming up, find a city near you, grab the tickets, come out, have a good time. It's going to be freaking awesome, man. And Friday, go stream the new album, Sunburn. That's right, baby. Yes, sir. And we got, we, hey, listen, don't forget, we got CDs and vinyl, too. Bundles, good bundles. Um, great bundles with uh, cool Wicked apparel. Um, so if, you know, if you like to get away from behind your phone screen for a couple minutes, be a real human and maybe pick up a, a nice cool piece of vinyl and, and spin it on a table with a bunch of friends. Um, I mean, yeah, we talk got about it. that Check for a second. That, this vinyl is going to be sick. It's a double disc colored vinyl. Eight full, Eight yeah. Full, full pictures and uh, inserts lyrics and everything it's the whole package so yeah so for the the people who are true music lovers check it out we can't wait um we're excited about the album release the tour and the release show um and the music videos coming out so we hope to party with you uh and keep rock and roll alive yeah you guys definitely got a lot going on there uh any plans down the road once the raven tour ends heading into summer anything you can share at this point I'm going to tell you this, we, uh, we do have another album that might come out towards um, the end of the summer this year. So keep an eye out for that. Um, we're going to keep the pressure. Um, we're all about writing songs and, and like, again, like bringing this like version of rock and roll that we love and believe in um, back to life. Um, so we're going to be hitting the road in some form or fashion, whether it be a college tour or another tour or shows, something like that. So, um, we're working on those details and we're excited to see you guys after the Raven tour as well. All right. Sounds good guys. The best of luck on everything with the new album and the Raven tour and everything else you got coming up there. Thank Thanks, you. I really appreciate buddy. it. All right. Great talking to you. Nice talking to you, man. Rock and roll. <laughs>